Virgo, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, this is your general reading for October 15th through November 15th. And if you're a Virgo um, sun, moon, or rising sign. So the intention of this reading is to pick up on what's going on for the majority of all Virgos in um, or sun, moon, or rising signs so that we can all make the best choices, having the awareness of what is likely to occur this month and then um, step on to our best paths, doing what's right for us, leading us to our ultimate um, most happy um, and fulfilled state, okay? So if the way that you can do this is you can watch the video and just go with what resonates for you. You can um, look at your rising sign and your moon sign if they're not all the same. And um, sometimes because it's a whole month long, if something doesn't resonate right away, it may in a couple of weeks because it hasn't happened yet. So if you watch this right when it comes out, you might want to again in a few weeks, maybe save the video. Or if it doesn't, then maybe I'm just not the reader for you. Um, because it's a general reading, it's for a lot of people. So just maybe take what works for you and leave what doesn't. Um, but anyway, so... Um, Thank you so much for those of you who have liked my videos, subscribe to them, um, share them with your friends for all of your comments. For those of you who have followed me over to the Patreon site for the um, videos that we used to do here that are now over there, I appreciate that support. And then I just wanted to let you know in one month, um, I'll be announcing this really cool project we're going to be working on and um, how you can get involved in it and maybe be famous. So anyway, that's to come in November, so we'll just get started with your reading, and it's going to cover, um, oh goodness, your cards are so jumpy, there's going to be a lot they have to tell you. <laughs> um, it's going to cover the areas of family, home, friendships, um, health, your work, your money, and then your love life if you're single and or coupled, okay? So we're doing it a little bit different in that we're starting with a general theme, it's not something we used to do, but we're doing it this month. So what is the general theme for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Here we go. We have empathy. And it says, I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. So try not to be a stick in the mud. Try to see things from the perspective of other people. Okay? Now, we should always do that. But particular in this month, that is going to be important for you. Now, we have the hanged man in reverse. And that's interesting that that was one of those that just jumped right out because that is totally what this card is saying. It's saying, go way outside of yourself, outside of the way that you typically see things and view it a totally different way. It's like, um, you see how this guy, how he's hanging upside down and he's seeing the world from a different way, from a different angle, okay, than when he's upright. That's what this is saying. Um, but in reverse, and the way that it fell out of the deck like this in a challenge position, it's saying you're challenged to do that. That is what your challenge is this month. We also have a couple other challenges. What we have is the Ten of Swords. So it is challenging to heal, to move on from hurt that other people have inflicted upon us. Um, we didn't deserve it, most likely. You know, um... And here's something that's really hard to deal with sometimes. It's like that sort of um, mentality where people, how do I describe this? You know, like victims think that somehow they, I'm sorry, one second. Yeah. Um, can our friend go in our house? In the basement. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where somehow, you know, like, for example, if you're raped or attacked, well, I was asking for it. I was wearing a slutty outfit. No, no, absolutely not. That's not true. The deer was not asking to be shot with these arrows and these swords just by walking in the forest. Oh, well, he deserved it because he was in the forest instead of in a nature preserve. Of that, okay? So it's saying, you know, you just have to remember that and you have to try to heal this month. It's very challenging, but you need to be forward focused, okay? Think about what you've learned from this situation and just move forward and know that those are lessons that you take with you. Another challenge is um, wrapping your head around exactly what I was talking about. Taking the truth that you've known, the lessons that you've learned, moving forward with those, and then leaving the BS and the lies and that you've told yourself, the deception in the past. Okay, it's not a reflection of you, what other people do. It's a reflection of them. 
right? So if somebody cheats on you, it's not because you're not good enough. You know what it is? It's because they're not good enough because they are not a loyal, like loving person because they suck. Okay. So some of you are just like viewing your situation wrong and it's sucking you into this like negative vortex that you just need to walk out of. And this might not be all of you. Okay. And this is just in general terms before we get focused on each individual area in the reading. But this is a message that somebody in specific needs to hear, if not a few of you. And there is a number of message associated to that. So I want to tell you what that is. It says, trust that the big changes that you're experiencing are for the best and that things will soon calm down. You will soon heal. But you have to choose that. Okay? And that's why it's a challenge. Okay. And then the other thing is the Empress as a challenge. To see yourself in your own divine beauty and power. And, you know, like, you are smart. You are beautiful. You are radiant. You are attractive. Other people see you that way. But you need to see you that way too. Okay? All right. Sorry. That was, like, very... um girl power. <laughs> but it could be boy power too. You know, I'm just saying that's just kind of how that came off that little rant. Okay. So in regards to your family life. And so this could be like your family that you live with or people that are in your close inner circle. It doesn't necessarily have to be your family, but people you consider to be like family. What is going on October 15th through November 15th for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Not worried about it. Not worried about it at all. No anxiety there. You keep your inner circle close for a reason. They are trustworthy. They are good people. Um, it says, you know, like, just absolutely no drama. No drama this month. Awesome. So don't go creating it. <laughs> Not to say that I see anything indicating that you would. Um... What's going on in your home life? Now, this could also this could be the people in your home, such as your family, or it could be your actual physical home. Let's just see how the cards fall for you. Um, if you are thinking about moving, if you are thinking about switching homes, not a good month for that. Next month could be better. Okay. What else? Um, the, so communication about finances and money. Goodness gracious, we just keep getting interrupted. I think that my car is beeping. Be right back. I'm so sorry. Guys, don't mess with the car, please. Oh, okay. Actually, it wasn't my car. Whew. Okay, sorry. Um, so this is not a month where communication about money is very clear and very direct. So, um, so it, for example, if you were to try to, to sign a lease, the terms of the lease wouldn't be very specific, right? There could be typos, things like that. So it's just like a really good month to sort of avoid that sort of upset. Um, you'd want to wait until after November 15th if possible. What's going on in regards to your friendships, your friends? Oh, good. <laughs> Really, really good news here. Like the people that you've decided to surround yourself with are really great people, people that are worthy of being in your life, really wonderful, great balanced friendships where um, your communication is fantastic, you can rely on each other, you give and take evenly and effectively, like you don't have those kind of friends that just call and dump all their problems on you without taking the time to listen to yours, okay? So really being there for each other this month. Anything else about friendships? Oh, lifelong friends. So if you've recently made new friends, they're the kind of friends that you can keep around for your whole life. Wonderful. Really loyal, wonderful people. The people that are here in your life are um, there for a reason, and they're very dependable. They are loyal. They're the lifelong kind of friends. So um, try to make sure that you emotionally nurture those friendships this month, just because the people that you've selected to be around you are really, really great. Um, you have another, so many messages for Virgo, so many things just jumping all over the place. You have two more number messages. The first one is that trust that if you uh, put your entire focus on serving your spiritual purpose um, through your career, okay, that everything else will be taken care of. And it's interesting that that one comes up because the next thing um, that we're going to talk about right after health is work and money. So if those of you are thinking about 
you know, um, taking up a career in astrology, in, um, in the church somehow, or a mosque, or in um, some sort of humanitarian way. Maybe you're going to be a tarot card reader. Maybe you're going to be a Reiki healer. Something like that. Good month for it. Really, really good month for it. Um, and then our other number messages is that angels are everywhere. They're totally surrounding you. They want to remind you that you're completely loved, you're supported, and that they are guiding you, okay? So you don't have anything to fear, nothing to fear at all. Okay, now what's going on in regards to your health, Virgo? What do we need to know October 15th through November 15th? You might be feeling hopeless, a little bit down. Like maybe any thoughts or ideas that you have about your health and how to improve it are just like totally not worth it. You're feeling defeated. Like, does it matter how money, how much kale I eat? I don't seem to get any thinner, <laughs> that sort of a thing. Um, but it says that the trouble is the way that you're framing things, that you are thinking more about your cracked eggs instead of nurturing the eggs that you still have. Okay. So it's asking you to be wise and really nurture what is going well for you to continue to do that instead of focusing on the things that are not going well for you, okay? So keep doing the things that work, the things that don't work. Don't get too sad about it. Don't beat yourself up. It is what it is, okay? Um, in regards to work and money, now this will be interesting for those of you who are planning to change your life or your work focus so that it is more spiritual. The Queen of Cups. So maybe where you're at right now, maybe why you're considering this change is that you're not getting a lot of emotional fulfillment from where you are within your workspace at this moment in time. You're not really feeling like the love for what you do. It's a job, right? You work to live. You don't live to work. Um, and it's saying, though, that you maybe have a fear of taking the steps to find or to move forward with that that will make you feel better it's like almost that you don't know it's like a, it's a huge uncertainty that you don't know that if you make a change like that like will it be emotionally fulfilling anyway because a lot of things that will we think will emotionally fulfill us will also emotionally drain us right like for example you might say I love children I love children so much that I want to advocate for their safety. I'm going to take a job at Child Protective Services, right? Something like that. Then you go take a job at Child Protective Services and you see all of this like horrible stuff that happens to these kids and it emotionally drains you. It like defeats you. It pulls out like all of the um, faith that you have in humanity and like human decency to care for one another, that sort of a thing, right? So um, it's definitely clear that you want to make a difference, but how? Like, what is the right thing? So what is our advice on how to figure out, for those of us who are in this position, like, what is the right thing for us? It says, just think about the things in life that are not fair and how to make them fair. <laughs> But for those of you who are thinking about a career in law, that maybe you're like, oh, I think I want to go to law school, things like that, you might want to investigate that further because it might not be what you think it will be, okay? Um, it says that you have to find a balance between um, your emotions and, like, realistically, what is going to make you happy, okay? How can you make a difference but remain happy because sometimes when we do things to make a difference like it does emotionally defeat us I I guess that's what I'm trying to say here what your cards are trying to tell you um because it says that you know some of you do want to do things to make a difference in the world to make the world a better place however there are things that you're not seeing here that you're refusing to look at different aspects so you probably want to go within and try to figure those out now what's the best method for you this month to try to sort all this ish and it just says um mental thought you know taking that blindfold off and seeing things as they are just getting more information okay so it's not about heart versus mind anything like that it's not that you need to meditate more um speak seek out more guidance i mean sure those things are wonderful they're beneficial but you need to just for further investigation before you take steps this month as far as any career type of changes go um 
So what is it that we need to know this month in regards to our money? Because sometimes money and career are tied together. Sometimes they are not. Um, you just might not be feeling like you are making as much money as you wish you were. I mean, don't we always feel that way, right? <laughs> but we feel as though um, maybe things are just completely unfair, like maybe we're underpaid. That could also be the reason why we're feeling like this push to do something different. Um, we just really want to take an action to acquire more money, to get more money this month. And it's hard to figure out the best course of action to get really passionate about it because we're not exactly sure on the best way to do it. We don't have these creative, like passionate ideas on how to do it that are super clear to us. So um, what do we do this month then? I said stay strong, keep your head up where you are, keep doing your work, really uh, focus on the things that you control and not on the things that you can't, like don't complain, try to be an honorable person, use tact, don't burn bridges, um, but this month is not the month to start something new. It's the time to think about it, to really investigate it, but we don't want to follow those things through until November 15th or after, okay? So for those of you who are wondering about your love life, we're going to start with Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, who are single. Um, not taking enough care of you this month is what it looks like. Um, and this is because we're trying to see things from other people's perspectives, right? So maybe the people that we're dating, we are going above and beyond and we are caring more for them, trying to meet their needs than to meet our own. And what this is saying is that um, things are not going to change overnight, right? Like we're not... By doing that, we might have the expectation that all of a sudden we feel secure in this relationship and we're going to be committed and it's going to be our happily ever after. It's saying that's not actually what's going to happen. Um, it's also, and then this card just sort of says the same thing, that things take a long time. Things take a long time to grow, right? What else for singles? And it does take sometimes a long time to meet the right person. And unfortunately, it's kind of like... It's not saying that we won't meet that person this month, but it's just saying that sometimes, like, when we meet a person, we're not going to be falling instantly in love with them. It's not love at first sight. It's the kind of relationship, like, if we do meet somebody, that takes time to grow, to evolve. Um, we've got the Five of Swords here and the Chariot and another one, just saying it maybe you know, people you're meeting, you just don't really see it going anywhere, and having to... Although it's sad, be honest about that and just say, oh, look, man, look, lady, this isn't working out. It just, it isn't. I don't feel like this is what's best for me, and I'm sorry to hurt you. I don't want you to feel sad, but I really don't see this going anywhere substantial. Just don't. Um, what else? What else for singles? That... So for those of you who are just kind of casually dating people, as I mentioned previously, maybe you're giving more to the relationship than they're giving back. And I don't see that changing. And maybe that's where that message comes from. Like, I don't really see this coming into something that's wonderful. Because if early on, they're already um, putting you in this place where you feel like the relationship is unbalanced, wait till they start to take, like, take you for granted later. Like, what is that going to look like, Right. What else? Just that same thing. You have to communicate it. You just have to say it. Um, but for those of you who have nobody on your radar at all, not even dating, what can we expect this month? You could expect that a friend could turn into um, your long-term partner, your forever person, your lover. You could expect to really just be more focused this month on securing your own future, like your future forever, making good investments in yourself, in your environment, maybe buying yourself a home, maybe putting money into mutual funds, that sort of a thing. What else? Um, it, for the majority, it might not be the month where you meet your soulmate. It just might not be. Hopefully, 
soon, hopefully next month. But it's saying that, you know, if you were counting on that this month, the stars might not be aligning for that right now. And that if you feel that way, that perhaps it's better to just focus on laying um, a stable foundation for yourself first so that a new person can come into your life and like then there's nothing to worry about. You can go all in on that because you don't have these extraneous other situations like in regards to your work, in regards to your home, things like that that can distract you from going all in. Does that make sense? So it's not completely hopeless or anything like that, but it's totally okay to focus on your own stability in your own life right now, this month. It's one month. It's 30 days. Okay. For those of you who are in a coupled relationship, either with a Virgo or you are a Virgo with a partner, and your sun, moon, or rising is Virgo, what do we have? So similar, we need to be focusing on our long-term future. What is it that we need? Um, should we be getting married? Should we be thinking about buying a home together? Should we um, have a baby? Should we get a dog? <laughs> um, should we get two dogs? There's two dogs on this card. Yeah, three, three dogs. Should we get three dogs? Personally, I'd say um, too much work. Three dogs, oh my goodness. Um, three of swords in reverse. So absolutely nothing to worry about as far as disappointment, heartbreak, cheating stuff goes. I don't think, I think you're making um, stronger commitments to each other this month. I don't think that anyone's going to be led astray. Now it's a general reading, so there might be one of you that has something totally opposite happening, but for the majority of you, I would say it's a pretty safe month, and it's a good month for you to really connect and have a wonderful sex life with your partner this month. This is a month where um, you just like a lot of passion and fire and excitement for your, for your partner. Um, and to be honest, some of you might not believe that because right now it might feel like, gosh, you know, like I'm not feeling extra in love with them, but you might be feeling extra horny for them. Let's just be honest here. So that's okay though, right? It's that physical passion, like the wanting to be all over each other and things like that. Um, it, so it could be puppy love, right? Because it's not like deep emotional bonding, but we don't need that all the time. We're still committed to each other, right? We're still having a good time with each other. We still enjoy each other's company. And, you know, like how we talked about with the singles, is sometimes things take time to grow. Um, it's challenging, perhaps, this month to really take what's being offered to us by our partner. For some reason, we might doubt it. We might have fears. Um, and part of that is because we are not always confident that we deserve it, that we are worthy, that someone um, could be so giving and loving to us, that we doubt it, that we're suspicious because of our past experiences with other people. That's very possible this month. So you really need to challenge yourself to build your own self-esteem, okay, to say, I do deserve this. Like, I'm an awesome partner. I give a lot to the other person, and therefore, when they give back to me, even if it's in a different way, I fucking deserve it. I'm awesome. I deserve love and I deserve respect and I deserve to be treated like a queen. I just do. Right? That's it. That's where you need to be with that. Uh, anything else for couples? Um, Wheel of Fortune in reverse and Three of Wands. So this is coming out real weird for me. Um, for those of you who don't know that haven't been watching this channel for a long time, I read intuitively. So... Sometimes the way that I read cards is different than the way other people reads card, read cards. Certain cards mean different things to me than other people. Sometimes the way that cards are interpreted by me are different from minute to minute. Like the same card might come up over and over, and this is one of those times, okay? This is very interesting. You might have um, a partner, or you might be thinking about gambling, this month a lot. You might go to the casino together. Maybe you go to Las Vegas. Maybe it's just a quick one night little thing. Not going to go well. I don't think that you're going to lose um, a tremendous amount of money, anything like that. It's not like, holy shit, watch out. But it's just saying, if those are the things that you're worried about, um, it would be at least $100 lost. At least. It will be in the hundreds. So it's just saying, um, maybe not the best time to go. Especially if you're going together. Like the other person, like it's bad luck for you. Um, but anyway, it's saying don't worry about it though, like if you do decide to go, because things are still stable. Things are still all right. 
Like it's not going to like totally make or break you, but it's just saying watch out because it's kind of annoying. Weird way to end a reading. All right. Well, love and light. If you'd like a personal reading, my contact information is below in the description box, as are the links to Instagram, Snapchat, um, Patreon, Twitter, all that stuff. So um, if you're interested, cool. If not, that's cool too. See you actually tomorrow since we're doing daily readings here now. Love and light. Bye.